Smash burgers plus pimento cheese might just equal barbecue nirvana. We got rave reviews about the Smash Burger. It was our first video on YouTube. So today what we're gonna be doing is we live in the South, and we're gonna be doing a Southern Smash Burger. It's gonna have bacon, it's gonna have pimento cheese, and it's gonna be absolutely delicious. You guys stick around and watch what we're gonna pump out today. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment what should we be cooking, what kind of burgers are you making in the backyard. If you are on Instagram, go ahead and give me a follow right down here at the Kamado Max. Got some good pictures and videos and poll questions and things like that. Uh, always a good time. So hit that like button. Let's get to cooking. So I got the ground beef here. Nice little square there. It's uh, This is one pound. I'm going to split this into uh, probably quarter it out. So I want to talk about the cheese a little bit because it's kind of unique. So we're using pimento cheese. And so pimento cheese, if you're not from the South or if you haven't traveled through the South, it's uh, everyone has their own recipe. They think it's the best. It's cheddar. Some people put white cheese. Um, pimentos is definitely a staple. I like mine with jalapenos along with cream cheese and a bunch of different types of seasoning. And you really don't see it all that much. I think Costco like maybe has some, but I'm not sure how available it is across the country but in the south you can definitely find it and so uh what we did here is the producer of the show went ahead and made this and so what this is is this is pimento cheese that you would just mix up and i got a link in the description or uh description down there of uh, everything that went in there so you can just take a look at that that's how we make it it's got some mayonnaise cheese all that stuff and what we did was i formed it out put it in this little baggie and then i squared it off a little bit because one of my beefs with southern burgers, and I see it a lot down here, in even in the south, is that they'll do patty, patty, and then just a big old scoop of pimento cheese. And it's nice, you get the good flavor and everything, but I don't want to be biting through a cheese ball to get to my burger. That's my that's, I, I usually don't order it at restaurants. And so what I did here was I basically made a patty form of pimento cheese, just as if you were slicing off the block. I wish they made pimento cheese sliced off the block, but, but they don't, but I did here today. So this was in the freezer, sliced it up a little bit, kind of carved off, evened it off, and we're gonna throw this on this burger. But uh, you know, first thing we gotta do here is we're gonna take this ground beef, quarter it up, and uh, then we're throwing it on the Joe. In fact, what we're doing here actually is we're cooking with the soapstone. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that in a second. So I lied to you. The first thing is we're actually gonna do bacon instead of uh, ground beef, because I wanna cook this bacon up, just get it out of the way, and then we're gonna cook the, uh, the ground beef for the, uh, the smash burgers in the bacon grease. And the way we're gonna do that is with the Kamado Joe soapstone. So this is a relatively new thing for me. It's, uh, as you can see, it's just a half grill grate soapstone. Really good with uh, having even heat. But for right now, ooh, that's nice. I mean, you can't really go wrong with that sound. Let's do, uh, oh, for good measure, let's go ahead and make a three. <laughs> it smells amazing right now. I mean, that's just bacon for you. I'm not even gonna shut the, uh, the dome right now. I mean, this is all gonna take a minute or so, but I'm just gonna enjoy the aroma of, uh, of bacon before the burger goes down, before we hit with that pimento cheese, nice and creamy. Man, smells good. All right, we got the traffic copter here, uh, you know, storming over to come get a whiff of all this good stuff we're making here. Okay, been about a minute on the second side. I mean, that just looks fantastic. You can't go wrong with bacon, man. Here, we're gonna put this on a uh, paper towel, let that cool off, crisp up a little bit more. And right now, we're gonna focus on the actual patties. Okay, so I'm guessing we're gonna go for a half pound burger here. So I'm gonna go ahead and split these up into like quarters. And effectively we're making a meatball to start. Awesome, so we got the uh, the two patties, nice and rounded, look like meatballs. What we're gonna do now is gonna hit with some seasoning on the top side, cause that's gonna go down first. And I'm using Killer Hogs, Texas. So, you know, I was thinking about like Southern seasoning. There's really not a lot of you know, aside from Cajun country, there's not a lot of like Southern seasoning that you really see with uh, with barbecue in it. It's really all about the sauce. But I was thinking, you can't go wrong with Texas. Pepper, salt, a little bit of garlic, you're not gonna go wrong. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit the top of that with a little bit of this. And that's the side that's gonna go down first. So let's go ahead and get it in this, uh, this bacon grease. 
So the first thing I'm going to do here, and I'm going to take the back of the spatula, and I'm just going to kind of spread this around a little bit, make sure that grease is all over that, but also the grease on the back side of this is going to help it not stick when I smash it down here in a second. So, take the season side down, season side down, got this grease side, smash. Woo! Oh man, it's hot. Kind of spread around a little bit. Now, same seasoning. Oh, you can smell the pepper hit immediately. And you don't want to walk away. At this point, this is going to take maybe a minute or so. Just keep an eye on it. You want to keep an eye on the edges. Make sure it gets crispy. And when it starts bubbling up from the center, that's when you know it's about time to flip. So we're going to give this like uh, you know, a minute or so. I'll let you know. But right now we're just going to enjoy this aroma. Okay, been about a minute and a half. Uh, take a look at these burgers here. You can see they're starting to puddle up a little bit on the top, especially this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and carefully remove the bottom and then flip, boom. There we go. So my pimento cheese <laughs> cut fell apart, but that's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and spread it around like that. That's gonna melt. And it's gonna be delicious. So that's gonna go on top. So I'm gonna give this like one minute or so, um, hit the buns for a second, and then we're off to the races. So the pimento cheese is kind of thick. So what I wanna do is really get it melted. And so I'm gonna go ahead and blast it with my new propane torch. goodness so here we go watch this right there we're gonna move this off now check this out the final step buns brioche down nice surface contact oh you know what I know what we'll do bacon And why stop at two? Right there. This is gonna be good. Take a look here. Oh, right on. Perfect. Slide off like that. place its crown on top oh now that's a burger <laughs> worth eating come on look at that you got the pimento cheese jalapenos pimentos all the good stuff bacon beef brioche bun bacon didn't even mention the bacon come on let's try this <laughs> I really, really appreciate, and I highly encourage you, if you're gonna do this, make the pimento cheese and just make it into like a solid little, little strip. Because you're not biting through a block of cheese, you're biting through great beef, bacon, and just a nice even layer of that cheese. That cheese just makes it. Maybe throw some hot sauce and barbecue sauce, but that is creamy, delicious. This is fantastic. I highly recommend you take a look at this. Pimento cheese, it's such a regional staplety that if you haven't been to the South, you gotta give it a try. It's amazing on burgers, it's amazing on crackers, but please give this a shot because this is phenomenal. This is one of my favorite things that I've made recently. The bacon just takes over the notch and uh, that butcher box beef is fantastic. Uh, 
this burger is so good that my four month old son, the uh, junior producer on the show, uh, he wants some. So he's ready to get inside. <laughs> I'm ready to eat. We'll see you next time.